I think we've all heard about the theft that's taking place in retail locations across the U.S. You know, Target, Walmart, Best Buy. But have you heard about what's happened in the U.K.? The long-term theft that was taking place at the local post office? Well, if you haven't, stay tuned. So what, what exactly happened? From about 1999 to 2015, the post office, which is kind of like a UPS store in the UK, used a software provided by Fujitsu. And what was happening is that this software, well, it had a little bit of a bug in it. And because of that bug, the software reported up to the government that these post office managers were faultily or fraudulently misstating their bank account balances, typically to the extent that it was defrauding the UK government. Now, when you look at like a UPS store, it's, a, it's quite a bit different than what a post office is in, in the UK because, you know, a UPS store here in the States is, I mean, it's, it's privately owned, no connection to the government whatsoever, but it's quite a bit different situation for these post offices because again, it is run by the government, but you still have a, a shopkeeper, if you will, that's managing the day-to-day, -day, managing the bank account, et cetera, et cetera. There are about 3,500 postmasters and postmistresses that were affected by this. 983 people were actually convicted in court and sentenced. Now, many of these people got a, a suspended sentence, so they didn't actually spend time in jail, but not everyone. In some of the most egregious cases, there was- My God, they even sent a woman who was pregnant to jail on her son's 10th birthday. That's when you got locked up. At that moment, how did you feel? I lost my faith in the system. I was like, this, this thing can happen to me for the crime I never committed. Anything is possible in this world. I completely lost my faith in the system. There were other stories of... Just tell people what it's done to your dad, an honest, hardworking man who was, was prosecuted as a liar. Has he ever recovered from that? No, and he will never, ever recover from that. There was racism, harassment, death threats, uh, to the point... At on on one occasion they even put a four foot cross outside um outside from the shop on the village green with my father's name on it uh to say rest rest in peace vipin they literally wanted my father dead well the, the really sad part is that this bug has been known about for years and for a long time after it had already been discovered there were these postmasters that were still struggling to fight these claims of false accounting, I think is what they what they called it there. It's just crazy. You, you know, the, the UK, they admitted there is a bug. They didn't do anything about it. And these people are fighting for their reputations, for their jobs, to, I mean, to stay out of prison. And the UK government is still not doing anything about it. For decades, Britain's post office scandal, perhaps the country's biggest ever miscarriage of justice, has gone unnoticed by most people. You're responsible for the loss. I haven't got that money. But all that changed this month thanks to a new ITV television drama, which portrayed how hundreds of postal workers were wrongfully prosecuted over computer system errors. No one else has ever reported any problems with Horizon. There's definitely been some, some talk about how the, the ruling class in the UK is out of touch with with the average person in that country. And you know, this is probably a good example of why some people might feel that way. What was probably equally infuriating or what added fuel to the fire is that local police and the local courts were, were not involved in the adjudication process of these claims. Instead, there was an internal court system that all these folks were tried in and, and convicted in. So they, they weren't really even allowed or entitled to the normal due process that other folks accused of these crimes would have been allowed to, you know, fanning the flames of a further injustice. I think even the ruling class, in, including the, the prime minister, is, is starting to take this seriously. This is one of the greatest miscarriages of justice in our nation's history. People who worked hard to serve their communities have their lives and their reputations destroyed 
for absolutely no fault of their own. What they're doing now is they're actually proposing a law. The government said under the proposed new law, some postmasters convicted of fraud could be cleared before the end of the year. Today, I can announce that we will introduce new primary legislation to make sure that those convicted as a result of the Horizon scandal are swiftly exonerated and compensated. Yeah. You know, many folks had to declare bankruptcy. Four people committed suicide because of all this. Being a postmaster or postmistress, you know, had some standing, you know, those folks had some standing in their community. And when these accusations came out, didn't just lose their job, they, they, they tried to repay it or had to declare bankruptcy and they couldn't get a job anywhere. I mean, a lot of these folks had a criminal record now. And so compensation, in my view, definitely makes sense. You know, so what's the right number? Well, one number I heard was 30,000 pounds, which doesn't seem like quite enough for some of these folks in terms of what they had to go through, you know, declaring bankruptcy, being a convicted criminal, even though it probably didn't you know, rise to the level of, of what a felony is here, here in the US. And I mean, a lot of these folks, I mean, their, their lives really were ruined. And it's just crazy to think that there's a, a software program at the root of it. And the company, Fujitsu, continues to give billions of pounds worth of, of software contracts from the UK government. I mean, what do you think about that? Should this company still get these large contracts or should they be blacklisted because of all the, the harm they caused with this little software bug that seemed little but ruined people's lives? I mean, what do you think? What, what is the appropriate steps forward here in terms of compensating the, those wrongfully accused? Also in terms of what should be done with Fujitsu? Let me know, I, I'd love to hear. You know, this definitely isn't a private equity video, but it's, it's, it's really interesting as it relates to how businesses interact with the government and what happens when software, which we all use every day, becomes the culprit, not the individuals using it.